Um, three years ago, I was a stay-at-home mum. I lost both my parents. I was pretty just not very happy. Um, not really got any focus on where I was going or anything like that. Um, like three years ago, it was just I was just fed up, <laughs> sort of thing. When I first met Kate and started working around We at Ruos, I didn't really have much on. I didn't have any, I, I used to knit at home and that were about it. And then I got involved with Kate doing, um, in Ryder Park Street, doing like workshops with her. And then the more, I, more she got me involved, the more I, my confidence grew. And then it got to the point where I were giving her ideas for what we're going to do with the family stuff and what we're doing in the, the adult stuff. And it just came a natural progression that I were able to sort of take, start taking more lead eventually and then it was sort of I, could, I knew I could do it on my own so it was like I took the opportunity and started doing it on my own. Like now I am a lot more confident like like three years ago I wouldn't have I wouldn't have I'd be I'd have been scared stiff if somebody said can you run a family session on your own with just some volunteers I wouldn't have I'd have freaked out completely I would have done, like no I, I can't do it but like now I'd, I've got the confidence to do it and it's just it's changed a lot of my aspects you know I've got more confidence in my abilities never mind anything else it's like my ability to be able to come up with ideas and actually look at look after people and guide them in the right way and I wouldn't have ever been able to do that years like three years ago there's been a few other people that have been involved in my skill share that have like like sort of they came in and they've been quiet and not really oh I can't do anything to like one of the ladies, Cheryl, she's, she's, she did all the mice for the Donko's leg and she was so proud of them. She went, then I've got another lady who come and she, first off, she came to my workshops as a thing to do with her and her daughter. Since then, she's gone on to like sort of volunteer here. And it's like, it's quite nice to see people getting involved with other people and then realising that not everybody's scary and that they can get involved with other things. And it's really nice, you know, it sort of spreads. It's trying to get everybody involved in arts, like, adults more involved in arts in regards to making them realise that it's not just a niche for people that go to the theatre or go to art galleries and look at paintings and understand what it's about. It's about getting people on our, on, in my community involved in doing something that will eventually lead to a big art form or getting them more excited about art. You know, it's like you could do a bit of craft that could lead onto a nice big piece of art such as like the the field of poppies, it, that was a piece of art, but I don't think the people realised what they were doing at the time. And it's, it's just nice feeling that you can help people get involved that way and have more excitement about what's going off around them. And hopefully it'll lead to them getting more involved in going to the theatre or going to the art galleries or music concerts or whatever.